The chickens have really slowed down in a big way. Before the day started getting shorter, I was getting four to five eggs per day from five chickens that are old enough to lay eggs. And today, this is all I got. And I know it's totally natural that laying hens slow down during the winter when the days get shorter. That's just kind of how it goes. But I can't help but think that I could be doing something a lot better here. And I think that I can probably be doing a whole lot better on the chicken feed. I've been researching for a while now on how to make my own chicken feed, how to do a little bit better by the chickens, and even how to save some money. And this is kind of what I've come up with here. Now, most of the information that you're going to hear on this video is from a channel called Survival HT. I don't know her name. Uh, she's seems like she really knows what she's doing uh, and she put this recipe out there and I'll put some links down in the description and in the comments on this video so that y'all can check out her stuff as well but most of the information in this video uh, really came from her she's like the primary source here I guess you could say but right now here's what my chickens are eating this is just a standard 16% protein producers pride tractor supply brand chicken feed and the ingredients in this are about what you would expect processed grain by excuse me, processed grain byproducts, grain products, calcium carbonate, plant protein products, salt, DL methionine, vitamin, and a whole bunch of stuff I really probably can't pronounce. So standard stuff, grains, vitamins, calcium, that kind of stuff that the chickens need to survive and to produce eggs. Now don't get me wrong, the chickens have actually done pretty good on that stuff. They look nice, they seem pretty healthy, uh, they're just not laying any eggs. And of course most of that can be attributed to the shorter days, that's just kind of what chickens do. But I really feel like I can be doing a whole lot better on what I'm feeding the chickens. So therefore, here we go, we're going to make some homemade chicken chicken feed. And here's the recipe that we're going to use. We're going to use one part of wheat, one part oats, one part of corn, and one third of a part of soybean meal. And we're also going to give them free choice oyster shell out of a separate feeder entirely. I suppose you could probably mix the oyster shell in. I don't know what the ratio would be, but we're, gonna, we're just going to leave it out and let them get it as they need it. And also with the corn, this is whole kernel corn right here. And I didn't know this before I watched Survival HT's recipe, but apparently chickens can do just fine at processing whole kernel corn right by itself. I'm actually going to crack it. I think that'll give them some more accessibility to the nutrients, maybe help them digest it a little bit better. But um, of course, I want to play with my fancy corn grinder as well. So let's go ahead and do that and we'll make a batch of this stuff. Now, if you wanted to make a really huge batch of this, you could just take an entire bag of wheat, a whole bag of corn, a whole bag of oats, and a third of a bag of soybean meal and mix it all together. But I'm going to make a smaller batch kind of as a test run. And plus, I don't know if I can mix that much at once. So I'm doing three parts by weight, one part of corn. So that's 10 pounds of corn right there. And then 10 pounds of wheat, 10 pounds of oats, and about three pounds of soybean meal. Maybe a little more.
in addition to that regular food right now i also feed them just some scratch grain uh really nothing special about this either it's just producer's pride scratch grain and i'll continue feeding that to them as well they also have a flock block out there that's i really think it's just a giant giant cube of scratch grain it's they've kind of torn it up and the rain has as well uh, they also get grub terra so a black soldier fly larva as well so i'm not going to stop feeding any of that stuff to them we'll just see if egg production changes just by swapping out their normal feed i did some math on this food last night and if the soybean meal is about 48 percent or so uh, you're looking at I think 22, 23% protein in this mix, somewhere along in there. Either way, it's between 20 and 25, which is way more than you actually need for laying hens. And also, it's a lot cheaper than what you would get on that protein mix at Tractor Supply or a similar store pre-mixed. Well guys, it's been a week now, and as many of you probably predicted, that did not work to help egg production at all. So, we're gonna go another route. I can upcycle this. So as far as the feed goes, I really do think the chickens are getting a much higher quality feed at this point, and they've gone through about half, a little bit more maybe, of that container that we poured up last week and earlier in this video. I ran out of the uh, black fly larva, so they're probably not getting quite as much protein from that source, but they are getting more protein in their food, and they seem to be enjoying it well enough, about as well as the last food that they were eating. The problem is, food is really not the kicker when it comes to chicken. Sure, you need high-quality food, but when it comes to egg laying, they do it off of light. They do it off the length of the days. So when the days get shorter in the wintertime, naturally, egg laying goes way down. So I'm going to supplement them with artificial light. This is really not something that I wanted to do. It just didn't seem very natural. I just kind of wanted to let the chickens be chickens, but... That kind of pushed me over the edge. This is one of the timers that I used to use in the solar kiln to make the fans come on in the morning and go off in the evening. And I'm just gonna upcycle these and or just this one, plug it into this outlet and put one of these heat lamps with a different bulb in it up and give them maybe three or four extra hours of daylight. current time is almost 3 p.m. and what I want to do is give them another 12 13 hours of daylight we're going to give them a total of 12 13 hours of daylight something like that and sunrise right now is at 7 30 so I think what I'm going to do is make this thing come on at 5 a.m. and stay on until about 8 30 and at that point the sun will be bright enough so that this doesn't need to stay on well i'll come back in a week and i'll see how that works out again that's really not something that i particularly wanted to do because i just i wanted to kind of keep this operation as natural as i could but again it's kind of depressing when i have to buy eggs and i've got 10 chickens running around out here and feeding them and everything else so that's kind of why i decided on this so come back in a week and see how it works I think I'm five weeks into this experiment. I'm not really sure exactly, but if you remember what we did at first was we swapped to that new feed and that didn't work. We did that for maybe two weeks or so. And after that, um, I put a light out in the chicken coop and that took a very long time to see results but i think i'm seeing results now you'll see in just a minute i added more soybean meal to the feed at some point uh, and then at another point i put regular tractor supply food back into the coop but i ended up taking that out before they had eaten just you know really maybe more than two or three cups not a whole lot so we can say right now that their primary diet is that new food that i have been giving them so at this point they've been on that light for for three to four weeks I think and they've been on the new food as a primary source of nutrition for uh, about five weeks or so 
And uh, here's the results. I'll cut to this next clip. Here's the results. I had to do a time lapse to show which chickens were laying eggs. I have 10 chickens, five of them are old, five of them are young, and I wanted to make sure that it was indeed the older chickens that were doing the laying. So as we start the video, you can see there's two eggs in the nest. One of them is a dummy egg. The other one was laid by one of the older chickens. I actually ran her out of the nest accidentally when I came out to put the camera. But you see all throughout the day, these are the older chickens that are laying the eggs over and over and over again and uh, none of the new chickens I'll show a clip of the new chickens here in a minute but none of the new chickens are laying the eggs here I wanted to make sure I knew which chickens were laying the eggs because if I began the experiment with five chickens laying eggs and ended with ten chickens laying eggs uh, this experiment really wouldn't have shown me anything Here's the results right here. You can see that there are five eggs right here. And I think just from what I have looked at on the GoPro that the GoPro picked up, this is a dummy egg, by the way. I think that the GoPro picked up four of these eggs being laid. So I know for a fact that four of these eggs were laid by the old chickens, the, um, the ones that are the oldest. And uh, one of them, I don't know who laid it, but they're all the same color, so or pretty well the same color. So I'm thinking that they were all laid by the same variety of bird. So that's five eggs in a day, which is an incredible improvement over what I was getting. So what does this prove exactly? Uh, I'm not totally sure what it proves. So there were two factors in there that, uh, you know, it's kind of difficult to tell which factor actually made the difference. We fed the food for a while and that didn't do the trick. So I put the light in there and that seems to have done the trick. So there's two changes that were made, the light and the food. I'm a lot more inclined to say that it was the light that did the trick since the food didn't see much of an improvement after a couple of weeks. Maybe that wasn't long enough. I really don't know. All I know is I'm going to be continuing with this whole light setup uh, for as long as I have chickens as, as, as far as I can tell. So um, that's a pretty big difference. The days have not really gotten any longer. I don't think that's a factor. It's December the 28th, I believe today, something like that. So still dealing with very short days, although I think we are in the uh, period where the days start getting a little bit longer, but I don't think they've become a whole lot longer at this point. Um, so yeah, I think the light did it personally. That's my take on it. I'm gonna to continue to feed this food because they seem to really, really like this food ground up the way that I showed you. I think I showed that clip. I'm not sure if I got video of that or not. It's taken so long to make this video. I don't know what I have footage of and what I don't have footage of. I'm gonna to have to wade through a bunch of footage in the editing of this video. So I'm gonna continue with this um, with this feed that I was making because they like it and if they like it I like it um, and I like to know that I can make the food and uh, that's really cool to me that I can just make their food and they seem to be it seems to be working for them so thank you for watching this video I'm still not totally sure what it proved uh, personally I think it was the light that did the trick I feel like I could have probably kept continued to feed the tractor supply food with the light out there and they probably would have can they would have increased production with that as well so I don't know. Leave it in the comment section. What do you think helped? Um, I'm just happy to be getting a lot more eggs than I was getting because of egg prices right now. But I appreciate y'all watching and I will see y'all on the next one.